Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome to the studio. I'm Aramis Hamer, a large-scale acrylic artist who is inspired by black girl magic, hip-hop, and all things astrology. Let me just caveat, I'm sure y'all know I'm inspired by more things, right? Okay, I figure we're about 10 videos in. I should probably just disclaimer that, but um, I just I just say that for the intro, for the intro, okay? Especially since I'm working on a Zodiac series. So today, y'all, we are putting in work, okay? I'm ready. She got her Fenty lips on. She has her workout clothes on. Okay, we're gonna get some aerial training in. Key things that we are working on today are these three giant pieces behind me. So we're priming Pisces. I said that in the last video, but it's happening. It's happening now. It's happening now. We're priming Pisces. I'm getting some more details set on Capricorn and I'm gonna be doing the sketch layers for Aquarius. So I'm super excited to bring y'all in on this studio vlog. Let's get started. And your girl did not shave her pits. Look, you know what? Welcome. Welcome to in the studio with AL. <laughs> it's real over here. It's real. Black leather glove, no so this is what we have going on with Aquarius. So Aquarius is the air sign. So um, this is the color palette that I've been having going consistently throughout all the air signs, like a sunset color palette. Uh, but since she's the water bearer, uh, she's gonna be in this waterfall. So I actually want her to be holding a vessel of water on her head. Obviously this camp is too big. So I'm just gonna get started with the sketch to kind of figure out to kind of figure out how I want the composition to be, but I actually might move this piece to this bigger wall once we get it all laid out so I can be painting it even. Let's see how that process goes. So what I use to sketch out my work is chalk. That's the main thing because it's super easy to wipe away. If there's something that I don't like or like a feature that I feel like um, could be bigger or smaller and needs to be changed, I just wipe it off with a little damp sponge and then go back in with the chalk to clean it up. So that's a little tip for y'all if y'all ever are doing any sketches. That's just how I think it's easy. You and me, this life got too deep for you, baby. Two or three of us about to creep when it's staying. Black leather glove, no seat. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite shit. Nike crossbody, got a piece in. Got a dance, but it's really on some street shit. So what I do whenever I'm trying to find my photos is I just go to Google. I go to Google, I search for the position that I'm interested in. So these were like the three, these were the three photos that I was kind of combining. So it was like her, mixed with her, mixed with her. So I pretty much use this one as my, maybe I should cover this up for you too. Like I don't know how they feel about, about breasts, but um, we'll just, we'll just do that. Um, this is the main reference photo that I'm using. You can see it's from iStock by Getty. Then I make my changes to it and adapt it to how I want it to be. Of course, I love painting black women. Unfortunately on Google, there are not a lot of like stock footage photos that are the positions that I like. So of course, as an artist and as a creator, we can adapt the image to however we like. So I always just use these just as like a reference for light, for shapes, for form. Then once I have that basic layout, I change the features, I change the hair, I change the color, obviously. Um, I change the background. and and really put my own stamp on it. So um, yeah, use reference photos. They're super helpful and they're, gonna, and they're gonna really help you get more accuracy in your work if that's something that you're looking for. This has been my process. Now what I'm about to do is go back in um, and outline it with paint. Once I feel like the proportions are right, the composition is how I want it to be, and the features are locked in, then I can wipe away that chalk. So let's do that. We made some good progress on Aquarius today, y'all. So I feel like I can get some aerial training in. Okay, yeah, let me first put down the rug. 
if you all saw in some of my previous videos um, I pretty much lay a rug down and um, a floor pillow which serves as my mat but this rug helps protect this helps protect me from the floor of course I'm in the art studio so the floor is really rough there's probably stray nails and stray staples that's around. So I put this down. So this is the surface that I warm up on. So I'm going to get started on my warm up. Can y'all hear the birds chirping? I just love spring. I truly do. That's a moment. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Movement is truly a form of medicine for me. It just keeps me grounded. It keeps me rooted. At the same time, um, it gives me like this confidence. You know, like when you're able to move your body in a certain way, you automatically feel like, damn, I'm strong. I'm a boss, you know? So that is definitely what Ariel has been given to me. I am super excited for <laughs> But a lot of rosin hands are super sticky <laughs> i'm really looking forward to um performing you know sharing this art form and combining the two the visual arts and the performing arts i feel like the fabric can just be interpreted in so many ways it can be so many shapes it's just really a tool where you can tell a story and i feel like i'm ready to take the story of the goddesses off the canvas well not even off the canvas in addition to the canvas you know, like where there's this exhibition of me performing and like there's this there's this performance art component as well as the visual arts, my paintings are there, maybe coupled in with some video production. So like maybe even where we layer the two. I don't know, I'm just brainstorming with y'all. So when it does come to fruition, you can be like, I heard it here, honey. Aramis was talking about, she was talking about all of that back in the day, okay? So yeah, so you are a part of my training process.
Just got my prints back from Bellevue Fine Art Reproductions. They are the plug out here in Seattle, y'all, for the dopest prints ever. So, I got some new prints that have not been on my website, actually, ever. I think ever. Okay. Yes, look at the queen. Can we say hello to the queen? You know what's crazy? You know who got rank is my gram fam. I love the gram fam. Follow me on the gram. But I think I'm telling y'all this one first. So, all right, tube team. I think I like that. Y'all the tube team. So, letting y'all know that these prints are going to be up on the website. I see a few of y'all were shopping on my site from my last video. So, I super duper appreciate that. So, that's actually some of the orders that I'm going to be getting sent out today. Ooh, honey. Let me show. Look, I'm over here gassed up. Child involved. So, yes, this is let it be. This is the open hand morning challenge. I ain't gonna show y'all too much now. I ain't gonna show y'all too much. Other goodies y'all need to see. Yes, yes. So, right now is getting some of these prints shipped out. I wanna make sure that I get to the post office before they close. But this is just like a beautiful fun and affordable way for people to have my artwork. Of course, as you all probably know, Originals is like one of a kind. It's one of one, honey. So when that one is gone, it is gone. But people still have an option to get some prints or to get a canvas print. And that's what these options are here. So we get in this elephant wrapped up. Actually, the original of the elephant is right up here that is behind me. The original is not for sale because that's my boat. That's, that's, my boo. I feel like as an artist, you know, like we can keep a little sum for our personal collection. You know, we don't have to sell everything. Everything ain't, ain't gotta be for sale. But the things that are for sale is always love whenever folks shop that. Speaking of, I'm wearing my girl shy cropped hoodie. Don't you love it? Isn't it adorable? Adorable. I'm here for, I just got on a little tank top underneath, but serving up vibes. <laughs> I'm gonna put her website down below so y'all can shop there as well. But let me know, um, let me know if you're an artist too. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what type of stuff you sell. Let's see what's going on and popping with the tube team. Let's get connected, y'all. Oh, and another client actually got the unicorn print, the one that I hung in the studio the other day. So we're gonna get that wrapped up for her. Am I sure? Am I sure sure? Okay, y'all, I'm out of my larger poly mailers, but usually when I ship my workout, I put them in these custom poly mailers. So I actually got these from Sticker, Sticker Mule. They're the plug. Uh, they also do stickers, obviously that's in their name, but what they do really nice is the poly mailers and this has my logo on it. So I am gonna be putting the canvas prints in these and then putting it in a firmer priority mailbox so that can go out. Obviously you can get it in whatever size you want on Sticker Mule, on Sticker, 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 Sticker Mule. Uh, so I got them in two different sizes, but it looks like I'm out of the bigger ones, which is what would be the poly mailer. I would put the larger 11 by 14 prints in. So that's actually pretty unfortunate because I don't really have another method for that. Okay, that's a little tip for self that I need to hop back on Sticker Mural and restock. But for now, we just gonna make a do what a do. So I found some black, some black um, corrugated board cardboard boo <laughs> some black cardboard that i had from a previous project where i had shipped off a canvas print so um i actually got this from where did i get this hobby lobby it's hobby lobby i do not use this often i actually don't recommend using this that often but for the circumstances this is what we're going to use done that would have been a fraction of the time if i had my poly mailers but 
I'm ordering those tonight, honey, okay? Because that just took too much time. But we did not get those prints sent. But that's okay. There's always tomorrow. It's It'll be fine. I'll be putting imaginary deadlines on myself as if something has to go out at a, at a certain time. But I just like to get the orders out as, as soon as I can. But you know what? We're going to do that tomorrow. Right now, you know what's about to get it? This damn Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have been saying it for the longest. I'm getting it primed. It's about to get ready to go. I like to have my services ready so when an idea strikes, it's primed, it's set, it's ready to receive the paint, and I can just go in and do it. So that's what we're about to do now. Get Pisces primed. We got our little concoction brewing up here. I have another video where I show this full process and I, I actually break it down. But yeah, kind of just giving you all the gist here, but I'll put that link up in the card if you want to know the full process. mentioned this in some of my previous videos so when I put the gesso on it's gonna pull the canvas nice and taut so that's actually gonna get some of the wrinkles out so we don't have to worry about those so I mixed I mixed an old bottle with the new bottle and that old bottle actually had um, some little chunks in it so that's my fault for actually mixing up the two but yeah it's fine you just pull them out and keep on going so while the second layer of gesso is drying on our pisces painting i'm gonna try to see if i can get the lantern hooked up for the chandelier so y'all remember my last video i finished up the chandelier this took days honey days okay but it was so worth it in the end and i loved how it looked um and i was like what if i actually make it a pendant light like what if i actually put a light in it so i think that that would be super cute so let's see how that works out this is actually super long too i got this on amazon y'all i'm actually gonna be sharing more info about this in the the amazon essentials video but i'll definitely put the link at the bottom i mean it actually could just go over this hook like, why not? <laughs> Your girl going old, old school, old fashioned, honey. I'm gonna tape it just for now, just so we can kind of see what we working with. I like it. What y'all think? I feel like the bulb is really bulby. I feel like I want it to be higher, kind of disguised. So I think it looks cute. Honestly, I feel like it actually looks a little bit better on camera. Like in person, the bulb is really, really bulby. <laughs> that even makes sense. Uh, it's actually cute. Okay, I think I think I gotta let it warm up on me, but I think it looks good. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm still working on the studio, but it's coming together. Black leather glove, no see-through. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite shit. Nike crossbody, got a piece in. By the time y'all see this video, the prints will be up and live on the website. So I have the mats for them and they looking so good. They looking so crispy. What I'm working on today is taking some photos for the website. When you see this video, these will be up and published on my studio store. So y'all can definitely shop those. Your girl is also being productive, okay? She's getting her Patreon up. The Patreon is live and ready to go. I put some posts on there. 
I put some behind the scenes footage that is not included in this video. So you all should definitely check that out. I have three different tiers there. We still working on getting these lights together, but I'm gonna have Andy come and work on that because your girl is not an electrician, okay? <laughs> Neither is he, but yeah. <laughs> we made a lot of progress this week. I'm really happy how things are progressing and moving along. So of course, thank you all so much for joining me in the studio today. And remember, if you liked it, like it. And I would also love it if you subscribe. We are building y'all. We're super close to 200. We're super close. Go ahead, hit that subscribe. Let your girl win out here, okay? Thank you all so much and I'll see you next time. Black leather blood, no seeds. Primed Pisces, we did the damn thing. I'm gonna put this one here. I actually might re-record this outro. Not sure how I feel about this lighting because it is yellow. But Thank y'all so much for joining me in the, yeah, no, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna re-record this tomorrow. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite shit. Nike crossbody, got a piece in. Gotta dance, but it's really on some street shit. I'ma show you how to get it, it go right for us.